Hello Johnny, I bought um, another connection that support the, the MFI to uh, HDMI. So I'm gonna try this out. Now I have tried a lot of cable, but I haven't put it them on video because when you plug it in, it doesn't even show on TV. So I didn't even bother to do that. Now they're giving me a, a $15 gift card for free. Interesting. All right, so put it over there. And this is the cable and this is the instruction book that came with the, this this uh, this hardware. So USB HDMI cable dongle cast a screen to a big screen uh, cast a small screen to a big screen and then here's the connection and of course the software you need to install. So All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I believe that use the same software. My, my mirror plug. So let's go ahead and put the Android on top. Let me see we could, uh, see we could scan this. Well, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm just going to plug it in and see if it works. Because last, the other one, I just plug it in and automatically asked me for the, the software to install. So let's see if this one do the same thing or not. Okay. So this go to uh, the TV. So I don't need an extra cable. I just directly plug this cable to the back. And then this one plug into my enjoy samsung uh samsung tablet 7 i mean a apple 7 uh a7 not 8 not 87 but 87 okay and then this go to the back of the tv and then this other end go to the power now I went and purchased uh, also a lot of different uh, USB to USB uh, connection. Uh, I have created like a dongle so I could plug a joystick and you know to the power before I plug to the power. But I want to go ahead and make sure it works before I start playing with the trying to get the joystick to work with this system. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it to the back of a power. Okay, so something that came up. Yeah, it's the same software. Apparently, it's the same software. And so it says start the software. So it's the same software that I originally purchased the first time. Okay, saying allowed. Okay, uh, let's just. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's working. So let me go ahead and minimize this. It says it's already connected. So let's go ahead and try Bluetooth pairing request pair with blah, 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 I guess. Okay. All right. So let's try this and see if it work. So let's go ahead and move this so we can see on both TV so so far so good the sound is coming from the TV this time it's not coming from the the system so I have an amplifier uh, over here and I could turn the speaker up so it's, it's not coming from the tablet it's coming from the TV so right there is a good good positive you know right there is a cause last time when the other one I did it, I have to the sound was coming from the tablet it wasn't coming from uh, the the TV so it's going to be a little bit hard to do this so let's see if we could get a little bit in here okay and well I prefer let's go ahead and start universal let's try it back to future, future. alright
and let's see how well how well this work so far so good so i think i found a adapter that actually will work uh on the big screen so let's see it let's see if i uh if i watch let's see if it if it's the same Now this is the first game I play, so I don't know if I move the game around. Would it would it be an issue? There is a delay because if I look at the screen and put and push the button, there is a delay. Yeah, there is a delay. That's sad. There's a delay between. Now, if I was to watch this screen and play it, then. Why is my screen so dark? Why is this tablet screen so dark? There you go. Now my screen is brighter. Okay. Alright, so it does display over here, but there is a delay on the gameplay. Alright, so let's see if there's a delay on the, the pinball. So you're looking at it from the big screen and I'm looking at it from the small screen. So let's see if this one work. But there is a delay by put projecting it to the to the top. So let's do do a Ghostbuster. Now, one thing bad about the pinball arcade is that they took out the Terminator. Now, if you have an older version and old, old like a uh, old game system, like uh, my iPad is an older version of the iOS, I w I still see Terminator there. But if you update to the new tablet, new Android, new operating system, the the Terminator will not be there, even though I purchased it. But I guess because they, uh, the William signed up with the uh, Zinc company, and it's not part of the RK uh, RK pinball anymore. So they remove it due to license reason. So now they move it to uh, Zinc company. Uh, let's see if this one play uh, aboard, play well. So if I look at my small screen, it's playing and it's displaying on the screen. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to bring this one up and I'm going to hit it and see if that screen show at the same time. Okay. Release hit. No. Alright, I'm going to try to play from the screen, see if there's a delay on this one as well. Hey, watch it, Tex. Hit! Hit! See, it's not hitting. So there is a delay also on this one. Oh, by the way, if you plug this into a joystick, you don't have to worry about uh, what you call it the tilt thing the not nodding when you hit the the pinball thing it will shake or tilt but the, the nug they call it a nug uh, if you have a touchscreen uh, game system it will automatically nudge if you hit left and right so for example if I was to start a game and and I hold it 
and can you see, okay when I hold this and I hit the side see the ball move see that see the ball move so I don't have to so one thing good about it if you have a touch screen like an iPad and you build a joystick around it like this is a 10 point 10.4 inches or 10.1 and you don't have to worry about the nudging it automatically is built in with the uh, with the tablet same thing with a app uh, iPad okay for the arcade game and zinc they both have that thing built in so if I hit it if I my finger here if I tap it on the side see the the boys the boys tilting see I'm not touching the screen to do the tap tapping I'm just shaking it see that I'm shaking it but I tilt the the game See if I tilt it, see it move. See I'm just moving this, and the the pinball machine move on the screen. So they, one thing good is that the sound is coming from there. Now let me see if I if I turn the sound higher, would it uh, somehow it automatically mute the sound? Because uh, okay. So this one, when you connect it, it also connect Bluetooth for some reason. So it's it's pretty cool. All right, let's see if I watch some movie with this work. Now it would be nice if it worked because, you know, the the delay it doesn't really affect it. Only when you play game. So this this device that I got is actually is pretty nice. I'll put that description. Now I don't know what ETA Prime used, but this is the one I found from Amazon. But he's the one who gave me the idea of, of, of go and get this. Now a lot of times they don't say is a MHL to HDMI. They just say USB to HDMI, but actually this support the the MHL the signal uh, because this tablet do not have the MHL built in the MHL I don't know what it stand for at this time but uh, so let's go ahead and watch this TV see if it work now with the sound some issue Sound is coming from the speaker, my amplifier up there. Okay, it's not coming from here. No. So it's coming from. It's coming from here. So it's coming from here. So it's coming from the, my speaker, but the problem is still the they still do not display if you do uh the the picture signal does not come through. So we still have this problem with this box. I, it's the same thing with the TV box because H H uh, HBO for some reason if you have a TV box it won't it just won't come through. Okay, so let's tilt the screen make it even and let's try something else let's try Netflix now everybody use YouTube so YouTube have to work so all right so I watch yeah this is the one I want to watch because I watched the, the TV series and I like it but I never watched the original movie so I would like to watch that one no Nothing on the screen. Same issue, same problem. So this is already showing, and that is not showing nothing on the screen. 
see. So it might be, it might be, uh, now it might be just because it, uh, the problem is because the tablet, the particular tablet, this is not an SA model. If this was an SA model, it probably will not have the issue. But this one, uh, it do not support the, the, it doesn't have a MHL built in. So it doesn't allow you to project the, the system, the tablet into a, a big screen. So that's the sad thing about it. It's just um, this particular company. So let's see if we could find any of them at least working, you know, because that's kind of sad it is that. Okay, there's no new Siri yet. Probably have to wait till it's only the beginning of the week. But let's see if this one works. Do you have a better map? Nope, nothing on the screen. I do. He's far away from here. Do you have a this TV series is kind of weird. In the beginning, it looked like uh, Dick, Dick and uh, what's that new show? Uh, forgot the old black and white movie, but uh, it remind me of that old movie, old TV show. It's you know, black and white, and uh, it's kind of weird. They start the the TV show like that, and then it, they move, and then later on start moving, moving into. More of the movie type of uh, mystery type of thing. All right, so pinball does show up, so that is a positive thing. That's another game that is by Ad Game. Ad Game uh, Arcade. They use this pinball. You're a real devil rider. Cause Zach Zakua pinball. So let's see if this one have any delay. Let's see if this one have any delay. Uh, let go. Uh, there is a big delay on the screen. <laughs> the screen is not showing. I know I purchased this. Why are they telling me to purchase? You want to go back to main menu? Yes. Okay, I need to figure out why it's not restoring my, my uh, membership. So all the pinball, as you can see, is going to have a delay. So there's no need to test those. But let's try YouTube, see if YouTube have video. Now, what I don't understand is this screen is a tilt screen. So why can they make it where it will if they added the TV stand, which I'm I'm doing with my pinball, you could pull it up and turn it and place it down. Okay, so, so for example, you could take you you could put the screen like this and put. Uh, I already bought that. Uh, I didn't bring it with me to videotape. I had to run over down to my to go get it. Um, the other room. But there is a there's a TV stand that you can mount it to the wall. But I'm not going to mount it to the wall because I'm going to mount to the pinball uh, box when I build the pinball box. 
you mount it onto it and then you put the you know the tablet or the tv on top then when you, the screen my screen is going to be tilted okay my my box is going to be tilted it's not going to be flat like everybody else because this is 21st century people don't play like that people like to watch it like this okay so for them to uh, do the pinball this way for, i mean it, to bring back the old memory but the memory is actually the notching and the tilting and the the pinball flipper feeling you know and when you could when you move the the box you know the the pinball machine the, the pinball will actually will move the ball will move and that will help you save you uh but they also at the same time it will tilt the the game but but it's worth doing that that's what's fun about it is the ball is going straight to the middle and you don't want because you know you're not going to hit able to hit it so you you you, sh you shake your machine and of course the ball will move then you can hit it so that's what the, the fun about it so anyway i'm going and plus the shadow of the light is going to go have reflection so i prefer to put it like that so i can see it then what i'm going to do is uh, i want to play arcade game so i have that that tv stand in the back where it's going to, uh, I'm able to pull it forward, turn it, and then place it back down. You could do it like that. Now with the smaller screen, you could put a mat in it. You know, you could, uh, you don't have to use a screw to unscrew it and then put it back. You could just magnify it, turn it on, click back on. So for them to have that idea, it, I mean, I already have the idea, but they are, they're going to sell it uh, with the arcade. But, uh, there's no sound <coughs> that's that's pitiful all right let's see if we could find another one that have uh have sound on it i was watching oh they finally announced it. it's going to be 300 dollars. but why is there no sound my speaker is on and the volume is up but there's no sound There's no value control here today. Yeah, there's no sound. So if I unplug it, my sound coming back. If they can do this right in terms of distribution and okay. in terms of the My armor for the cabinet, okay. I'm going to come back to that. So I'm going to plug it I in. I think this could be their biggest selling cabinet yet. I really do. Um, certainly at the price point that it's going to be on sale for. Now, that's not going to be the permanent price. So what is that price? Well, $300. I don't think we know the full games list yet. Again, I assume it's going to be the same as the Legends of Gamer Mini. Um, I don't know that that's confirmed. I haven't heard that that's confirmed. And, you know, there are limitations here. You're not getting necessarily the blockbuster arcade games, but you are getting the expandability. You're getting a great looking cabinet. One of the things I'm most excited about is this is a three force cabinet with no riser, just sits on the floor. I mean, this looks considerably better to me than the cabinet on the riser. Now, don't get me uh, wrong. The sound's not coming to here. Really good. But I love my, my AJM cabinet. I love my, my sound is coming out from I here. I love my Miss Pac Man cocktail, but that's, that's not on a riser. But you guys know what I'm saying. I've been saying forever, the riser, you know, everyone makes it this big thing. It's, uh, you, they even call a riser for the pedestal now, like with the MVSX. So people have really taken to that word. But really, it came from needing to have a box small enough to be 48 inches to fit on a Walmart shelf. So they had to make it in two pieces from Arcade Run Up. I mean, this was a function of necessity. This wasn't about designing the best arcade possible. This Legends Mini looks like what i hope the arcade one-ups eventually evolve into i love oh. the chrome team molding i love the one piece design the thing looks okay i went and turned the youtube off again let's see if we could uh start it again so apparently youtube we it's gonna be one piece the sound's not coming out and stable it's not coming through Good the tv piece. 300 it's, it's I coming think from is a fantastic here. 
a price for this. It's coming now, from here. the list price is 500. I said in yesterday's video I could see them doing four to 500 bucks. In retrospect, do I think $510 is a great price? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it comes with six months of arcade nets. The way I look at it, they all should be selling at $299 or $199. Because uh, arcade does not really, excuse me, arcade does not really do, arcade one up do not really do a good price sale until the price drop. When they all came out, they can sit there for one month for a long time, then the price start dropping. So, if you think about it, if I'm buying a one game or two game or three game, and it costs the same as me buying a PlayStation or Nintendo Switch, I would rather buy a Nintendo Switch and a, a PlayStation. That's my opinion. Because, I mean, if I'm paying a $4.99 or $3.99, I might as well get a, a home console that is is updated video game you know not the old retro game we are playing old retro game me you know as a new generation get get older more people are going to want to play playstation 2 playstation 3 you know wii u game they they look at like my kid doesn't even play retro game they look at it like those are old the graphic doesn't even look good the character doesn't even look good it got pixel on it when you put on pic, big screen it got pixel pixel line on it so yeah, that's true, you know, because if you, if you play those uh, Street Fighter uh, from Capcom or the Final Fight, and they have the new version, they look real nice. And you could play like, you know, 30 to 50 character at one time, you know, and we get excited just have 20 character in the game. So yeah, I mean, uh, let's see if we could get, uh, now the... Batman show. Let's see if this Batman will even uh, show up on CWA. So far it's showing but with the sound come through with the video. Hey, the sound is coming from here. So you two have issue with the no 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 it's not coming to So the only one that work will be CWA, but the problem is the sound is not coming from the TV. Everything else is coming out to the TV, but no video. The YouTube, no, there's video, but no sound. <laughs> I will not try CBS yet because I, I, I discontinued it because there's no more Star Trek. So I, I, I discontinue. I'm waiting for a new Star Trek to come out so I could start watching. So so all this video stuff will not work on this new adapter. Sad to say, it doesn't work. Same kind of problem, but this one at least is a little bit better than the first one I tried, but still have the same issue. Uh, so does all the game work on this on this thing? Uh, since there's a delay, I would not recommend it, but I do have games that I could try, you know, I do have arcade type of game, and, you know, which game did I like the most? Future Fighting? I like this one, and I like uh, another one called, uh... So I'm turning the volume down from using my tablet instead of. All right, that's pretty much it. I have. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense trying to get the joystick to work because because it it doesn't work. So I mean, the, there's a delay on it. So if I unplug this and plug it to my special adapter that I created, 
All right, so I have to plug this to here. And then plug one end to the power, see the power will come up. There's no power. Uh, let me plug the other end, see if the other end will have power. Nope. So yeah, the dongle adapter does not work either. So it won't it won't show the TV screen at all. So I, I use this dongle that I create it doesn't work. So because when I plug it for power, it, it doesn't give me any power at all. So this dongle will not work either. This dongle that I have plug all this. <laughs> so so anyway. So if you have a Samsung tablet A7, just so you know it won't work. But if you have like Android, Samsung's phone, Galaxy phone, those kind of stuff, it probably will work because it's, it's stated that those will work. It's just that if you use the the A7, Samsung A7 model with the, I think it's 10.4 inches, this will not work with uh, TV output. But everything else worked great. Got 64 gigabyte uh, AV game that I put on. It worked. Uh, not AV game, but most of the game played very well. And all the Android game played well, of course. And it had the, the latest Android 10 on this tablet. So I do recommend this tablet. Uh, I bought it during the time it was on Christmas sale for $179. But to me, it's better than TV box. I could still build pinball around it, and the nudging still work on the screen nudging, which is which is a big plus. So I'm I'm looking forward to find try to find time to do that because I have to study as well and look for a job. So once I able to uh, uh, had time and find a job, then I'll be cool. I love I love this game because all the character look so realistic. And and then you could uh, you know change their uniform. You could rotate them. This is a, a real awesome game to play. And uh, plus, I don't want to glare in the back. And then you could actually try all the different different things. The moosh the rose have. So I wish I hope they find a good person to play rose because this is my favorite character when I was young when I was a teenager I love to watch Rose uh, you know tough lady you know and they draw this person very nicely you know, I hate the glare but yeah it looked very realistic and you could rotate her and everything and she do all kind of fighting you could change the outfit, outfit and everything so yeah this is a, a real cool it's a future fighting game if you're looking for it, have it on Android and also I have it on Apple. Alright, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.